Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to deliver a digital product to somebody that buys it from you on ClickFunnels, and we're gonna do it using the thank you page method. Now, alternatively, you could do it with a membership site, and I'll have another video for that. So if you wanna do it with a membership site, look for that video. Anyway, we're gonna do thank you page, and I'm gonna do it from scratch. So let's just go straight into it. First things first, I'm just gonna add a new funnel. Like I said, doing it from scratch. I wanna go ahead and sell my product. We're gonna go ahead and build a sales funnel. Demo, 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 thank you, page. All right, build our funnel here. And I'm just going to wipe out a couple of these pages because we don't need them for this particular example here. Don't need a sales page. Just need an order form. So let me click into here and select an order form template. Doesn't matter which one. You could, of course, customize it to suit your needs. So I got an order form. I need an order confirmation page as well to you know, deliver the digital product or deliver the link to the thank you page for the digital product. So we'll just select this order confirmation page. Didn't even see what it looks like, so hopefully it's okay. Yeah, that works. And then a thank you page. And the thank you page is what's going to actually have the file on it that people could go ahead and download. So first things first is we have to have that file stored somewhere somewhere to deliver it to somebody now you could upload it to click funnels potentially if you go to digital assets here you can upload files that are three megabytes or smaller so really small files can go in here and you're probably delivering something larger so what i recommend doing actually is using dropbox because it's there's some free accounts and it's easy to use and most people have Dropbox already so you probably are already situated now the person downloading the file doesn't need Dropbox so it's okay so we're gonna use Dropbox here and let's say I got my file I'm gonna grab this one drag it over here <laughs> click over here on the share icon I know what I'm doing I swear so share and create link and link settings. So who can view this link? Anyone with link? Do we want to expire this link? Disable downloads for this link? No, probably you don't want to disable downloads because you want people to be able to download it and hit save settings or just cancel. I didn't change anything, so we're good to go. Go ahead and copy the link now. And now I go back over to ClickFunnels and I will go to select a thank you page now. And I'll just go with this download page, select. And again, you can store that file anywhere. Dropbox is just easy. You can st store it on Amazon S3. You can store it on Google Drive. You can store it on a, a server somewhere else. Uh, just wherever you want to store files. But again, Dropbox makes it easy. So I want to link my Dropbox file right here, or this button here to my Dropbox file. So I'll click on it and set action and go to website URL. I'll delete out that pound sign or hashtag. And I'll paste in my link. And you'll notice at the end of a Dropbox share link, you got DL equals zero. And DL means download. And if you set it to one, when somebody clicks on it, it's going to automatically download that file for somebody. Whereas if you set it to zero, it's gonna pop up Dropbox. So as a demonstration, let me open a incognito window and paste the file in here. So if with the DL0, you see that it brings somebody to like a Dropbox looking folder and they could go ahead and download it or add it to their Dropbox or whatever else. Now if I switch that DL over to a one, it'll prompt me to download the file. There we go. So save file as, and then I could go ahead and download it. So if you don't want people to have to go through Dropbox and you just want them to have like a direct download, you set that DL equals one. There we go and I might open it in a new tab. So now my thank you page is connected to my product. Product delivery. All right, there we go. So I preview the page, click the button. There we go, boom, download the file. All right, so that's working well. All right, let's back out here. Now what we need to do is go ahead and add a product so we can kind of, so we can connect our thank you page. So we got our order form page, go to products, and add a product, and I'm going to go demo product, set up my Stripe account, this will be a $5 file, and demo product, 
fulfillment email. So this is the important part. This is where you're gonna connect your thank you page to your order confirmation page, as well as a fulfillment email. And so we got thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your purchase. You may access your thank you page here anytime, your file here at any time. Of course, you go ahead and customize this email to make sense for your audience and your product and things of that nature. So the, the key thing we wanna do here though is we want to go ahead and set our thank you page. And so we need to find our thank you page. Scroll on down here. Do to do, maybe it's all the way at the bottom. Demo thank you page. So, and thank you page. And then this essentially associates that product with the, the thank you page that we set up, right? Hopefully that's making some sense. And this value right here will, is like a variable and it'll automatically update to paste in the link to your thank you page. All right, so create product. And if we go back to order confirmation page, since we set up that connection, and we pop this open real quick, uh, on the, this access purchase link is also automatically going to link to our thank you page because of that connection we did on the, on the fulfillment email. So that's how you set up these links on the order confirmation page is with that fulfillment email tab for your, for your individual products. So I, I know a lot of people are like, how the heck do I change this link? That's how you do it with that fulfillment email tab and selecting the correct thank you page. All right, so right here, our funnel should work and it should deliver an email and link over to our thank you page. So let me put it into test mode real quick and actually run through it, see if it actually delivers our digital product. All right, let me, let me do this in an incognito window. And we'll go in here. We got demo product for five bucks. Enter my email, Nathan plus test at crazyimarketing.com. Test credit card info, CVC, expiration date, complete order, go to my order confirmation page, hopefully, see if it does. Boom, order confirmation page. If I click access purchase, should pop up my thank you page for product delivery. There it is, click the link, pops open a new tab, download my file, awesome. And so that's really all there is to it. The main thing is making sure that you have a thank you page and it has to be a thank you page format page Otherwise, you're not going to be able to select it in that drop down box. So remember, it has to be a thank you page. And then you come over here, you go to your products, and you edit your product. And under the fulfillment email settings, you go ahead and select the correct thank you page that you want to give to people that buy that particular product. So that's how you go ahead and deliver digital products from ClickFunnels by using the thank you page.